A new study is quietly challenging one of astronomy's long-held assumptions that our solar system is stable over the long run. Researchers have found that passing stars, something that happens more often than you might think, could gradually destabilize planetary orbits, including Earth's. The numbers are low, but not zero. A 0.2% chance Earth could be flung from the solar system or collide with another planet might sound remote, but it's far higher than previously believed. So how real is this risk? And what does it tell us about our place in a galaxy full of moving stars? In May 2025, astronomers Nathan Kaib and Sean Raymond published a peer-reviewed paper in the journal Icarus. Using over 2,000 long-term computer simulation, they explored how typical field stars, stars that slowly drift near the solar system, might affect planetary orbits over time. These weren't rare or extreme events. They modeled average stellar encounters, like the ones that occur every few million years. The simulations were split into two groups. One included only the solar system as it currently exists. The other included realistic stellar flybys, random but plausible encounters drawn from what we know about the Milky Way's stellar population and motion. Without passing stars, the solar system remained relatively stable in most scenarios. But when stellar encounters were included, there was a noticeable rise in orbital disruptions. The gas giants, particularly Jupiter and Saturn, experienced slight shifts in their orbits. Over time, these shifts affected the entire system. The gravitational interactions slowly accumulated, sometimes leading to chaotic outcomes, planets veering off course, close approaches between worlds, and in rare cases, complete ejection from the solar system. The statistics are telling. Earth had a 0.2% chance of either colliding with another planet or being ejected from the solar system altogether. For Mars, that figure rose to 0.3%. Pluto, a body often assumed to be safely distant, showed about a 5% chance of instability. Mercury, the smallest and closest planet to the Sun, turned out to be especially vulnerable. In some simulations, it was the first to be affected, with a 50% to 80% increase in risk depending on the flyby's characteristics. These simulations don't predict any specific outcome, but they demonstrate that even small gravitational nudges, if repeated over long enough timescales, can significantly reshape a planetary system. What this study really highlights is a gap in how we've been modeling the solar system. For decades, most long-term orbital simulations assumed an isolated system, meaning they excluded the gravitational effects of passing stars. This was done partly for simplicity, but also because it was believed those effects were negligible. It turns out that even ordinary stellar flybys happening at thousands of astronomical units away can be enough to introduce instability not immediately, but gradually, over hundreds of millions to billions of years. The gas giants act as amplifiers in this process. A small change in Jupiter's orbit can influence the resonance patterns of the inner planets. These resonance patterns, essentially gravitational rhythms, are what keep planetary orbits predictable. When they're disrupted, orbits can become chaotic. This isn't just about Earth. It applies to any planetary system in the galaxy. If our relatively quiet corner of space isn't as stable as we thought, what does that say about planets in denser star clusters or binary systems? The implications extend to the field of astrobiology as well. When we look for potentially habitable exoplanets, we often focus on the distance from the host star. But long-term orbital stability is just as important. If a planet's orbit is vulnerable to external gravitational influences, it might not remain habitable for long. There's also an educational takeaway here. This study underscores that our solar system exists within a dynamic galaxy. The idea that we're isolated or immune to external forces doesn't hold up over long timescales. It's also a reminder of how cumulative effects can add up. A single stellar flyby might have little impact, but over billions of years, multiple encounters, even if individually weak, can introduce significant change. The models may not predict doom, 
but they do point out that long-term gravitational stability isn't guaranteed, and that's a fundamental shift in how we view our place in the cosmos. The idea of planetary ejection isn't just theoretical. The galaxy is filled with what are known as rogue planets, worlds that drift through space without a star. Some of these may have been formed independently, but others were likely ejected from their original systems due to gravitational disturbances. Kayeb and Raymond's research suggests that Earth could, in a very small number of cases, join them. It's not likely, but it's now within the realm of mathematical possibility. One reason this is so intriguing is that we already know of real stars that will pass close to the Sun. One of them, Gliese 710, is expected to come within about 10,000 to 20,000 AU of the Sun in about 1.3 million years. That's far outside the orbit of Pluto, but close enough to disturb the outer Oort cloud, possibly sending a new wave of comets toward the inner solar system. While Gliese 710 isn't expected to destabilize planetary orbits, it's a concrete example of the kind of encounter these simulations are modeling. It's a reminder that stellar flybys are not just a theoretical exercise. They're a regular part of our galactic environment. Another angle is historical. There's evidence suggesting a star may have passed within a few light years of the sun about 3 million years ago. It didn't cause any known disruptions, but it might have subtly altered the orbits of outer solar system objects, possibly contributing to changes in the Kuiper belt. Finally, the study raises questions about the long-term fate of humanity. While 5 billion years is far beyond any practical concern, it's a time frame that matters for understanding the solar system's eventual trajectory. We can't know for sure, but thanks to this research, we now know the chances are higher than we thought. Kaib and Raymond's study doesn't predict catastrophe, but it does highlight how cosmic interactions we rarely think about like a slow-moving star drifting past at a distance, can eventually shape the fate of planets, even ours. Over billions of years, nothing in space stays completely still. The universe is always in motion, and that motion has consequences.